So this is going to be the video where I show what I used postpartum and I'm going to pair it with my newborn essentials because my postpartum essentials are not that long. And so I'm just going to get into it so we're not here for forever. So the thing that the hospital does, they, they provide you with everything. And when I went into labor, I did not think I was going into labor and so I didn't have a hospital bag packed. If I had a hospital bag packed, this is what I would have packed in it. And we're gonna get real personal in this video. Underwear. These huge granny panty black underwear that suck in your gut for you. This was a lifesaver for me. They're super comfortable. They're super high-waisted and they hold in your ginormous pads that you have to wear after you give birth. And so that was a great buy. They come on Amazon in a pack of five, which was awesome because then you weren't doing laundry every two days if they came in like a pack of two or three. So that was really great. And also, ladies, if you bleed through, they're black and so it's not this huge ordeal. Secondly, is you're gonna need huge pads. I just used this Walgreens Overnight Maxi extra heavy flow for my postpartum use. Um, they're huge. Get the extra long ones because you're gonna need them the first few days to weeks at least. Um, these were a lifesaver. Obviously you hear about women wearing diapers and whatnot. I don't see an issue with that at all. I just didn't have time to go to the store and buy them. Like I said, if, if I would have known I was going into labor, I might have chosen to do that instead because it just seems a little bit more logical. That way you didn't have to buy the underwear as well. Moving on to what's next is these tux pads. Medicated pads, they have like witch hazel um, and they do make you feel cool. It says on the directions that you're not supposed to like leave them in your pad, but I asked the hospital and they said they recommend it and they have these at the hospital too. So like I said, if you're going to the hospital, you don't totally need these. We were planning on a home birth. This is why I already have all this stuff because I didn't think I was gonna get provided them from the hospital, obviously. This, squirt, squirt. <laughs> So this is something that I bought and did not use. Um, the hospital provides you with, they call them a peri bottle, and the hospital pr provides you with one that works perfectly well. I tried to use this one just because it's easier, you just squirt it on you while you go to the bathroom. Um, I bought this one because it seemed easier to use just because you didn't have to like go so far. And when you squeeze it, it leaked through up here. And this is by the Frida Baby brand, and so I was kind of surprised that it wasn't great. Um, but like I said, I kind of regret buying this. Just use the one the hospital gives you. Um, it works perfectly fine. This is one of the best things that I bought. I was so thankful that I had these. Um, it is a reusable ice pack. I like reusable things, one, because it makes me feel good that I'm not like trashing the environment and it's a lot cheaper than buying um, disposable things. They come with a little pack. You slide it in and you put it in your underwear and I'm telling you if you've torn, which I did, I had a second degree, hair, degree tear, I did not need stitches, but I was swollen and not feeling so great down there. This is magical and it comes in a pack of two. So you Pull one out of the freezer, stick it in there with your pad or whatever. Um, take this off, put it in the wash, wash this with disinfectant soap, put it back in the freezer, take the other frozen one out, put it in, cycle that through. Because if you aren't using ice packs, it's just super uncomfortable and you feel just icky. Um, lastly, baby wipes. We were in the NICU for a week and so I spent a lot of time in the NICU without access to a great bathroom. It was like a public bathroom, so I didn't have areas to fill my peri bottle in the sink and like get my pad ready and all this stuff. And so I just bought baby wipes to go in my diaper bag with me and my pads and whatnot. And during the day, I couldn't use the ice packs, obviously, because they not they were frozen all day. So I just used these instead of the peri bottle and you just have to be super gentle. Um, not everyone's gonna be in the same situation as I was. And so that's super nice. But these have been super handy at home after I had healed and I'm still bleeding. And so just having that to kind of clean up yourself um, after you use the bathroom is great. 
so now that we're all super close and personal, we will start our newborn essentials. I'm gonna start with clothes. First of all, I wanna give Kate Quinn a shout out. My mom went on and bought all these cute outfits. Buttons kinda suck. They, I mean, during the day it's fine because you're, she's just cute and you uh, wanna be able to just um, have her wear her cute newborn clothes that everyone's bought in her. So during the day the buttons aren't a problem, but at night, well, let me tell you something you're gonna want to get zip pajamas and not just any zip pajamas you're gonna want the ones that zip from the top to the bottom because in the middle of the night you don't want to have to unzip them all the way and expose them and make them cold because it pisses them off you don't want to do that and so this is nice because you can unzip it to the stomach take their little legs out change their diaper all while their top half is still covered so these are super nice. Having button pajamas, I saw so many videos of where women were like, or moms were like, don't get button pajamas, it's such a pain in the middle of the night, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it couldn't be that hard. Like, it's not that big of a deal. So we bought button pajamas, and guess what? We don't use them, we use these. The extra minute that it takes to button up 15 buttons, you're, and done. Moving on from that is this. Solely wrap, I think I will demonstrate how to do it really quick. Pretty much put it across, cross it in the back like this, bring it over your shoulders, cross it, bring it, tuck it as it's crossed around and cross and tie it and you have this sort of thing the baby's legs go through right here these fold over them and then this piece folds over top so it's like a little kangaroo pouch let me tell you Sayla loves this thing next we have the boppy this was also a gift to me this is great for breastfeeding Put it right here and it brings the baby up closer and then also just for like holding them because your arms get tired after 30 minutes of holding the baby and so having something to kind of rest their feet on or lay them down on so they still feel close to you is super handy i know a lot of people don't love this they like the ones that like go all the way around them and i will say you do have to like kind of like adjust and like pull it closer to you quite often but i loved it and it's not been that big of a deal to me does everybody like my filming partner? <laughs> okay, next we have this. And it's called the Nose Frida. It is kind of a gross concept, but it works. So pretty much, it's a nose sucker. You put this little piece in their nose and suck it, and it gets all the boogers out. Those bulbs that the hospital give you gross me out because I have no idea how to clean the inside of them. And I don't want to stick something nasty and like full of fungus and bacteria back up into her nose. Um, I'm sure if you like cleaned it with water and soap, it would be fine, but it just grosses me out. This, once you suck her boogers up, there's a filter in it so nothing goes in your mouth. You get this part where the boogers are and you wash it with soap and water. And uh, like, I have straw cleaners and so I have a straw cleaner and I'll push that through it. And so that gets it super clean. Change the filter pop it back on, let it dry, and you're good to use it again. When I use this, I also drop a little bit of these Little Remedy saline spray drops into her nose to kind of loosen up um, the mucus in there. The, the only thing that I don't like about this is how fast it comes out. Like you literally tip it over and a drop comes out. And so I don't squeeze it up her nose or anything. I literally just do one drop in each nose, which is a lot for a little newborn nose, and let it sit there for 20 seconds and then use this. And <laughs> that girl has some adult-sized boogers. Next are these Dr. Brown's bottles. Moms, it's okay to bottle feed and breastfeed. The only reason that I had an issue with this was because when I was in the hospital, they took her straight up to the NICU after she was born. 
they gave her a bottle and a pacifier before I was ever able to breastfeed her or even try to breastfeed her. So I feel like that did ruin my experience a little bit um, because she had nipple confusion. But at the same time, being in the NICU and having her be so preterm, I had to kind of know how much she was eating and so did the doctors and nurses. And so we did bottle feed her along with some breastfeeding in the hospital. And when I tried to breastfeed in the hospital, they provided me a nipple shield, um, which also wasn't probably the best because it caused more confusion for her. Um, we are still working on latching. She will latch if she's not hysterically hungry. And once she latches, she a lot of the times lets it go and it takes us about 10 to 15 minutes each time I feed her to try to get her to latch. Yes, it's frustrating, but in my head, I know that one day I'm going to sit down with her and she's going to latch like it's nobody's big deal. And she's just going to feed the whole feed and be happy and great. And so right now what we're doing is I'm breastfeeding throughout the day and then Zach feeds her a bottle. I pump at night and in the, I pump all the time. That's another story. Um, Zach gives her a bottle before bed and then I'll feed her in the middle of the night one time and then Zach will get up in the morning when he goes to work and give her another bottle. So she has two bottles a night. Um. This is a great time to mention. So you have pregnancy hunger and then you have breastfeeding hunger. Entirely different things. Get yourself a huge water bottle and set it wherever you're breastfeeding because the second you have a letdown, it is like extreme thirst and hunger runs over you. So get yourself a nice water bottle. I just finished this one. Get yourself a nice water bottle and keep it by you at all times because you're gonna need it. Your research on nipple flows. I think there, I saw in um, Shayla's video yesterday that there's something called a bottle box or something where you get like multiple bottles and you can try all of them and see which one that your baby likes the best and then buy more of that bottle because these ones are what we were provided with from the hospital and then we had have, have um advent ones and she doesn't really like those and so and we've tried feeding them these ones when you tip them all the milk flows into this part too into the nipple and in the advent one it like settles over here and so that's also frustrating with those ones um, but we are gonna start to use them more Moving on we have these burp cloths um, a lot of the times I didn't really love these Zach really likes these just because they're softer I just like to use a like washcloth from Target or Walmart or wherever you can find a cheap washcloth that you can get dirty every day um, these are nice because they fit nicely over your shoulder so if she spits up that way it catches it so that's what I do like about these. And they are soft, like I said. Moving on from that, swaddles. We got these on Amazon. This one is quite large, but as she gets bigger, this is going to fit her. So these are nice and they're stretchy material and I really love these. And then the hospital provides you with blankets and those work great as a swaddle until they start to grow and they don't fit them anymore. Zach loves these. I don't, I don't love these, but I don't hate them. I love the design because come on, that is so cute. But when you swaddle her in it at night, it sticks and doesn't let her come unswaddled. So that's the nice part about it. And she doesn't seem to mind the texture like I do. Next we have these. So coconut oil as a lotion has been the best thing for her skin. She has a little bit of baby acne and every time I put this on her, it seems to clear up a lot quicker. Next we have Eucerin Baby Eczema Relief. I bought this a few days ago to try to use on her face because her um, baby acne was getting a little bit worse and it seemed to take the edge off, but it didn't solve it like I thought it was going to. Next, we have this Aquaphor um, healing ointment. We use this as diaper cream. She has her first diaper rash right now, 
and this is what I love and see the most improvement with. Um, it's the it's the baby Aquaphor, not the regular. And then um, it says relieves diaper rash within six hours, which I agree with. And then on the topic of diaper rashes, um, we had planned to cloth diaper when we had her, but she was too small to fit in these for the first few weeks. And so we had to do disposable diapers, which are fine. But like I said, it doesn't feel great because I mean, you change, especially in the first few days, you'll change like 12 diapers a day and like six or seven at night, I feel like. We went through a lot of diapers. Maybe she just pooped a lot, I don't know. But we wanted to do cloth. Cloth diapers are so soft for their little bums. They're safe for the environment because they're reusable. Um, <clears throat> and obviously, look at these little prints. Like they're stripes. These ones have ice cream cones on them. This one has like little leaves and birds and mushrooms and like, they're just cute little things. This one has like, little bugs on it. <laughs> this is what you use if you're cloth diapering. It is a diaper wet bag. Once you're, you have a soiled diaper, you throw it in here and zip it up. And I just washed it for the first time. And you can tell the inside of it is wet, but the outside of it is not. So I'm gonna assume that I'm just gonna flip it inside out to dry it um, so that you stay clean and then you wash it with baby detergent and a little bit of vinegar and all your diapers come out clean put them away and reason them later that concludes our postpartum and newborn essentials it's a little bit longer video but that's okay if you watched all the way through let me know in the comments what your number one postpartum and your number one newborn essential was because i know all the moms have different ones if you asked 50 moms they all have different answers. So let me know what you guys' number ones are and we'll see you in our next video.